Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm going to do some tying on the Espalier apple fence. This is going to be a really short video and I had thought I was going to do all of these in shorts, but they just don't promote the shorts anymore, so we'll have to do it in a regular video. So this is what I need to tie and I'm getting a little bit late on it. I got to pull this over and spread these two and get them onto the wire. That's going to be a little difficult. Maybe I'll start down here and pull this over a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Pull it over a little bit and then work on those. And then this one, which is already tied, uh, doesn't look like it needs anything down here. I was thinking I may need to put another tie on there with grapes that would have curled and started going up by now and you have to keep tying it down but i do have to tie this top one here to the top wire because it keeps wanting to slide over that way so we'll push this straight tie the top and the more difficult one get both of these split and onto the top wire. That'll give us three out of the 12 possible arms this year. One, two, three, and with any luck, this will start sending off side shoots and we'll get two more, which would be five out of the possible 12. I don't think we're gonna get anything here yeah, we got the one there, but I'm not sure about those other two. I don't think we're going to get anything down there. And this one, we may get one right here. So we could end up with six this year. And then next year, of course, we're going to be planting two more trees. And we'll probably get, oh, two or three more on these next year. I may have to do a graft on these, but we'll see. All right, let me go get my equipment and we'll get to tying. I use these rubber ties. They're hollow rubber tubes. These things are awesome, but they're really hard to find. The only place I can find them is at Orchard Valley Supply. This is what's left of my old batch. Let me show you how it comes. I bought this batch before I shut down the vineyard and I'll never use this entire skein. What I'm gonna do is open this up and get a fairly good sized ball and send it to my good buddy Dave at CCRX what is it? CCRX 1700? I always get that last part wrong. So we'll box some up for him, but that won't be in this video. Right now, I just need a few ties and we'll get over there and tie this. Okay, we'll do this one first. not going to make a huge difference pulling this over to the wire because it's not very far from it but it will make the tree more stable all right this is the difficult part and maybe if I, yeah, that's the way to do it.
Yeah, you don't want to snap it off at the base. So I'm not going to tie it directly to the wire. I'm just going to bend it severely and then I'll come back and tighten that up later. Go about like that. And we'll come back in a couple weeks and tighten that up. There we go. I think this one is going to be a bit more difficult. another one on that. I could probably tie that right down to the wire now. It's fairly flexible. Yep. Changed my mind. I have to get used to working with apples instead of grapes. Now, if this were a grape, probably would have snapped off. But I'll put another one right there, a little closer. And that'll hold it right to the wire. Yeah, like I said, I was going to do all of these in shorts, but not only are shorts not really all they're cracked up to be. They're mostly for like cat videos. And YouTube does not promote them anymore. At least they don't promote mine. So if they're not going to promote them, they're not easy to find by themselves. So People don't see them. I was just talking to my daughter. She's painting the door of her tiny house. Painting it black it looks pretty cool. The final color on that tiny house is going to be a dark blue. Very similar to our house. I don't know if you could see that. So it's gonna, it's gonna match the house really well. All right, that turned out much better than I thought. Like I was saying, I thought I was gonna have to bend them part way and then come back and bend them down, but they bent really nice as is. And putting that extra tie right here is going to immobilize the tree. So even in a high wind, it's not going to break. Okay. This next one just gets a tie at the top. To immobilize it. And with any luck, we'll get some side shoots on this and be able to put the top two on this one as well. Just gotta make sure I don't tie right over any shoots. All right, 
That is perfect. Don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. I topped this one, cut the top off right here. Uh, that was when we first planted it. And then you could see I cut the top off again. And then that forced these two branches to grow. I got to do that same thing on this. But I don't have to cut it down here. What I'm going to do, this is the apical meristem, which is the topmost growth of the tree. If I remove that, it's going to send shoots out from here, here. All these upper branches, or all these upper leaves, are going to send branches out to replace the apical meristem. So, yeah, I can actually just cut it right there so because i don't want anything coming off the side and have to go down to the wire so this leaf should send a stem out that can go right onto the wire and this one right here should do the same thing we'll watch this we'll probably tie something up in maybe two weeks and at that point I might take some of this stuff off, but I don't really need to. Yeah, I probably won't. See, if I take some of this side growth off, that's going to force it to want to send out new buds. And we may get a bud in a better area. Yeah, this little one right here may go onto the wire right there. Yeah, the biggest problem on this one is down here. But they'll send out buds anywhere on the tree. So hopefully we'll get something like right here and possibly right here later this year. They are looking really good. I'm going to have to get some water on these today. I use my Redneck Drip Irrigation System, which is two and a half gallon water containers. You just tip them on their side and then they drip irrigate it which sends the water way down in there into the roots if you just come with a sprinkler or a hose all you're going to do is get water in the top half inch or so and it's not actually going to water the tree you got to drip irrigate it and well i'll show that really quick and then we'll sign off of this video all right, these are the four trees that I planted this year. Those are the only ones that need this. And you can see, I can slow that down. Just by tightening up the cap. This is a two and a half gallon container and I sliced an X in the handle up here so that it can get air and now it's going to drip this out at this rate it'll probably take two three hours so all that water is going to go straight down unlike a sprinkler system that's just going to get the surface wet hi big kitty should probably slow that one down as well but i can do that off camera so that's going to wrap it up for today and you'll probably see me next when I'm tying two branches from this to the top wire here. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.